Hi again, this is part four, and in this video, it's actually the machinery I use now. Um, this is my still HS81. Um, mine's got the 30 inch um, cutting bar on, which is a, a good length. I've had this probably three, four years. It's been a good hedge cutter, nothing's ever gone wrong with it. And um, I actually recently stood on the guard bit, so I broke that up. I've got a new part to replace that. But um, yeah, it's been really reliable. It's nice and easy to use. It's not too heavy. Um, it's not the four mix. It's still the traditional two stroke. And um, yeah, it's been a really good hedge cutter. Um, I think I paid two hundred and thirty pounds for mine, and someone had started gardening and give it up quick, so it's sort of as new. It was in really good condition. So yeah, it's a great hedge cutter. This is my um, uh, strimmer, I use a lot now. It's a Honda UMK425, I think it is, the model. Um, and um, yeah, it's been a, um, a good strimmer. It's a four stroke. Um, and um, the only downfall is you can't get the cheaper replacement um, bump feed heads. You have to buy the genuine, which come in about 30 odd pounds each which on other ones I've usually got the universal ones because it's cheaper but apart from that yeah um, a great trimmer it, um, it's got plenty of power and um, you know that's about all I can really say about it it's just a good reliable tool um, I've done a lot of um, sort of basic trimming that's what I usually main, use this for um, basic sort of trimming up when I do my grass cutting so yeah I recommend one of these This is a um, steel BR420 backpack blower. Um, I've had this probably four or five years now. I bought it second hand. I think it cost me £150. At the time I did a school, a job at a school where we had to sweep the playground. But rather than sweep it, we used to, I bought this blower to um, blow it off um, when we did it. And um, yeah, it worked great. Uh, we didn't keep the job much longer actually, but it's a great tool round, especially around this time of the year for the leaves and that. It's got plenty of power, it's a traditional two stroke, and um, you know, it does everything it needs to do. So, um, and it's not too heavy, um, so yeah, it's a good tool, and it's got plenty of power. So, yeah, I'd recommend one of these if you can't afford the more modern ones, these are a great alternative. This is a Honda HRX 537, 21 inch cut. Um, I've got a few of these um, and we always use one. We use two mowers when we're doing our regular jobs usually, two um, walk behinds and we always use one of these. I usually use the, the HRH now, but I did before use the HRD, which was in the video before. Um, so, and these are good, especially if the grass is a bit damp because they're not as heavy as the other ones and they collect well and yeah, they're a, they're a good mower. Nice and light to um, lift in and out of the back of the truck. So yeah, they're a good mower and not much has gone wrong with them really. Um, I've had the dust cover uh, rub into the oil seal and uh, I had to replace the oil seal on the drive. But apart from that, it's been fine. This is a um, Kubota G2160. It's just basically an upgrade of my other mower. I've got the G1700, very much the same. This one is a little bit more powerful and um, it's got power steering, but actually at the moment that's playing up a bit. But uh, yeah, it's a really good, it's a really good machine. They're nice and sort of nimble to use. Um, they do cut really well. Uh, I bought it at the beginning of the season, I think it was just over £2,000. Um, my one's got the um, side discharge deck, like shown on the picture. And um, that's, I, like, I prefer that, I find I can, it, it works well with the grasses I cut. So yeah, 
I really recommend them. You know, they're diesel, they're economical, and it's a great machine. So I'll leave it there, and thanks for watching.